Hi guys, so we know how Brexit is harming businesses when it comes to, for example, importing goods, and how the lack of staff is having a negative impact on a company's ability to operate. But Brexiteers aren't satisfied with causing that much harm. Now they want even more red tape, it seems. Jürgen Meyer, a British-Austrian businessman who is also the former CEO of Siemens UK, explains how the chemical industry is now facing a new Brexit problem. Now, I mentioned the uh, front page story on the uh, FT, the chemical sector facing a big hit in red tape. I mean, uh, I guess you you were a devout Remainer. You would say, I did tell you this would happen. Well, I mean, I was a Remainer, but uh, in the end, you know, what I hope we would do is go for a more sensible version of Brexit. And we haven't. We've gone for a very hard version of Brexit. Okay. I think what he's talking about here is, of course, Theresa May's government and her version of Brexit. And instead, what happened was the clown drove the car and the clown car went all over the place. <laughs> and you had people like Jacob Rees-Mogg and Brexit hard man Steve, Bra Steve Baker deciding which direction the clown car should go. And Boris Johnson followed the instructions. And that's the type of Brexit we ended up with. And what that is doing in this case is it's forcing businesses to have to comply to two sets of regulations. So if you're a chemicals company, and by the way, chemicals are in pretty much everything that we produce, every plastic product, anything that might have a coating on it um, has a chemical product in it. And that chemical product now needs to be registered in the EU and needs to be registered under the so-called UK REACH regulation. So it's double cost. It's costing two billion uh, for the chemicals industry, um, as this article says. And the mockery here is, is that both prospective prime ministers are calling for scrapping all of EU regulation. And what you can read into that is for a lot of those, there will be double regulation and double cost. So in summary, I think what we're learning is that our so-called sovereignty is turning out to be rather expensive. <laughs> it's re very expensive sovereignty, uh, a cost that will eventually be brought by the end consumer because the, the companies at the top are going to have to foot, foot the bill and this bill will eventually pa be passed on to uh, manufacturers and eventually the consumer themselves. They're going to have to pay for this. And what, what is the benefit here? There is no benefit. This actually creates more bureaucracy and more inefficiency because businesses who could be working on new products are actually spending time and money completing extra paperwork. This whole thing about Brexit, you know, really upsets me because the lie, one of the core lies was we need to leave the EU to get rid of bureaucracy. EU red tape is holding companies back. And now by leaving the EU in this form, it means that these companies have to complete extra paperwork. And there's a cost with that. And it's been passed on to the consumer during a cost of living crisis. And as he has said here, you find chemicals everywhere, pretty much everywhere. And now these companies that are in the UK have to abide by EU rules and they have to abide by UK based rules. And there's no benefit here absolutely no benefit unless you cause unless you call sovereignty benefit but what is sovereignty let me know in the comment section guys what you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot